Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, it's some Shopkins. Let's see who we got. Go, we got Libby Lips, and we've got someone else. The cake. I know his name. Can you please tell me in the comments? Okay, I'm gonna customize one of them. So let's see who will be. I actually want Libby Lips. You know, because they've got a double. They're both doubles, actually. So I'm just gonna customize her. Okay, guys, I'm ready to paint now. So let's okay, go. Okay, let's start. I've got some red in my palette. And I've got my brush. Where is it? Where is it? There you go. My brush. And just some paint. Only a little bit. And I'm gonna start painting. Okay. So here's my first coat of paint. I'm gonna do a few of them. This is like acrylic paint. This looks like best. It's the best. You know, because watercolors just wash off. Okay, I'm ready to do my second coat of paint now, so I'll just start. Okay. Start here. Okay, so I finished my second layer. The acrylic paint which I use was kind of no it's thick, so I am not gonna do a third coat. I'm just gonna wait for it to dry and then do the rest. Okay, I'm ready to continue painting now. So I've got some I'm gonna make the goldish bit, like light blue, this bit. So I took some dark blue, that I've only got dark blue, and some white. I'm gonna mix them together to make light blue. And then I'm gonna start painting. Okay, I'm gonna start painting now. Time to add in a second coat of paint. Okay, I finished my first coat of paint. Here it is. As you can see, there's some yellow still showing through. I'm gonna do like three coats for that bit. Because you know the red was closer to pink, so it only took two coats. But the blue, it needs to you know have a bit more time, and a bit more coats, layers. Okay, second coat of paint, paint complete. I'm just gonna go now. Wait for it to dry, and I'm gonna add my third and final coat. Hey guys, now I finished my three layers of blue. Now I think we make the body of her here. Like make the base and make it purple, match with the blue and with the red. You no, know, because actually it's just these two colors mixed together. So let's start. Paint. Always be careful, guys, when you go around the eyes because it can be like really hard trying to repaint them, and it probably won't work. Like when you do it with marker, so be careful. I really like this purple because I made it myself. I made it out of red and blue. As you probably know, that's how you make purple. And a bit of white, otherwise it would be much darker than this. Okay guys, as you can see, I just I painted her purple. She looks, like, she looks very nice and I painted her lips too so she can model her new color. Because if you haven't noticed, her lips are the same color as her old color here, so now I just painted it red to match. Wait, guys, look, I just painted her adorable little heart red too. And this did look so, so cute, made me stand out, you know. So I think I'm gonna leave the her little makeup brush like that because it looks nice. And so, okay, guys, so the last stage of completing her lippy lips over here is to put no varnish on her and seal the color in because next time we should just water just gonna go like okay so i'm gonna take my nail varnish here it is and open it that's wrong way oh don't open it and 
them down. I really hope that this, that this works. It's gonna put some shine on my brush and put it on her. There we go. There she is. And I'm gonna pause the video and add a little bit more. Maybe okay, right. so I put nail varnish on my brush and I'm gonna just put it on top of the lips and Let's hope it works. Okay, come on. Whoop. Okay, look guys, I just varnished my lippy lips and doesn't she look shiny? Okay, you could add a little bit of water while doing it if you don't want it to turn out so, so shiny. But I just want to make it as shiny as possible and keep that color in. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe in the, and please tell me in the comments how that cake was called. I really forget their names. Bye!